Are you wondering what to buy from the massive Steam summer sale happening right now? Well, I'm going to share with you 10 of the best games that you can pick up which have RPG elements, be it light or heavy. Different budgets have been considered, so I'm sure you will find something interesting for you to pick up. Hello, beautiful people of the world. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Stephanie, aka Miss Bubbles, and I create weekly content covering game reviews, updates on sales, upcoming games, and so much more. Without further ado, let's get into it. Do you want to experience an amazing and immersive game that will make you think about its gameplay even outside your play sessions? Look no further, Kingdom Come Deliverance is the one for you. This is a story-driven open-world RPG set during the Holy Roman Empire era. It had a relatively rough start when it was first released, however today it is one of the most memorable journeys I have had within a virtual world. You play as Henry, the son of a blacksmith, and he wants to avenge the death of his parents. But guess what? But he is no hero. In fact, he knows nothing. You start by literally not knowing how to use a sword, a bow, how to read, talk properly. I mean, the protagonist knows absolutely nothing. So it is your job to learn and practice just like you need to in real life. Bohemia is going through a civil war and you need to try and learn your way into combat by training, practicing, and getting your butt kicked endless times. Your patience will be tested, but there is a beautiful story and experience that you will have here. There there is so much that I can say about this game, but we don't have enough time to cover it all. I just want to say I highly recommend buying the Royal Edition since it is 66% off and you will get so much content to play with. Oh, and the modding community on Nexus mods is pretty impressive. Vampire, Vampire, however you want to call it, was a really unique experience for me. I was looking for something intriguing that allowed me to play as a vampire aside from Skyrim, and there was this gem. You play Play as Dr. Reed, a newly turned vampire who is also a doctor, and the game brings you so much dilemma between deciding if you want to heal people or you want to feed on them. You traverse 1918 London and your actions do have repercussions on different areas of the city. Now you need to feed in order to become stronger and unlock new abilities, however the more people you feed on, the more negatively impacted the city will become because all the residents are somehow interconnected. Your choices really matter and you need to find the balance between when you want to focus on surviving and when you want to focus on keeping your human side. Or you can be a jerk and kill everybody. You are offered so many choices and opportunities and each playthrough can yield a completely different journey. The game is 75% off so you can grab it for $9.99 and if you haven't given this one a try, I highly suggest that you give it a chance. Fun fact about me, I love space. So lately, I have been craving games that embrace space and just really everything that happens way up there that we don't get to experience in real life. So I have been eyeing Everspace 2 for a while and now that it is 20% off, I got it for $31.99 and I think it is totally worth it. Keep in mind though, this is still an early access, but even now, you can easily get 20 to 30 hours of really good content. I can only imagine where the game will be a year from now. Anyways, this is a fast-paced space shooter. <laughs> that was a tongue qu twister. <laughs> that was a tongue twister, that heavily focuses on exploration elements as well as RPG mechanics that really bring a new light to the space games genre. You can expand your own ship and customize it just the way you want and then you can annihilate your enemies, get loot, get better and repeat. This was the closest thing to a masterpiece that I can get my hands on, especially as I've been waiting and waiting for Star Citizen, which just seems like it will never fully release. Everspace 2, I can tell the developer are pouring so much love and care into it, so do give it a try if you're interested. By the way, do you enjoy space games as well? If you do, please do recommend a few suggestions down in the comment section because I look forward to adding a few more titles to my library. This game sends me straight back to the days where I had my Xbox 360. Sleeping Dogs Definitive Edition is a must-buy to any action RPG fan that has not tried its glory yet. It is an open-world title that has been reworked to suit our more modern consoles, and here you embark on a cop drama journey in the busy streets of Hong Kong. Your fighting style is explosive and deadly martial arts skills. Combat aside, you have an entire city to explore, from joining illegal races and participating in gambling to singing karaoke, you have plenty of content to enjoy. Sleeping Dogs is very similar to the Yakuza games and is a really good breath of fresh air if you want to try something new in 2021. It is 85% off for only 
only $2.99. Seriously, if you're gonna pick one game from this list, make sure it's this one. And here is another space game because again, I really love those. This one is called Elite Dangerous. You are basically a commander of your own ship and you get to explore a massive galaxy while discovering a unique narrative. The game literally tried to clone our real life galaxy and bring it to us in a virtual world. How cool and epic is that? You start with a humble starship, nothing too fancy, and a bit of coin on your side. However, your mission is to expand and get richer as you try to become the best among the elite. It is really an open experience where you can do whatever, whenever, and you can engage in co-op as well. Freedom of choice shines in everything that you do and every step that you take. No hand-holding or massively annoying tutorials will stop you from having fun. However, do keep in mind that there is a little bit of grinding because, again, you're basically trying to advance in your ranks so if you don't like grinding stay away from this one regardless elite dangerous is 75 percent off and you can buy it right now for 7.49 set in a 17th century fantasy world filled with magic greedfall is an awesome action rpg that captivated me at a time where i was itching for a new title in this genre you go to discover uncharted lands and choose who you want to ally with and who you want to betray along the way you will have companions who join you and each will have their own backstory, affiliations, and culture to support their personality. So just like Fallout, things that you say and do can impact how your companions perceive you. You need to use diplomacy, combat, deception, and stealth to get things done in very sophisticated situations. And as you progress, you can choose which skill points to master and which won't be too important for your playthrough. I love that this game gave me the opportunity to discover what kind of character I wanted to play as, and it also gave me options to choose from as I engage with the story and the RPG mechanics. Greedfall is perfect for anyone who is a beginner, as well as someone who just misses the style of gameplay. It is 70% off and you can get it for $14.99. Witcher 3, my one and only masterpiece of a game. Damn, I can really imagine the number of people that are either going to click off this video or leave very salty comments. But what can I say? I love this game so much, I will always and forever be biased towards it. Anyways, you play as Geralt of Rivia, a monster slayer who possesses different abilities and is searching for his adopted daughter Ciri. The best things about this game involve the quests, the abilities, the lore, art style, characters, literally everything will make you fall in love with the experience. Heck, you will even get attached to a freaking pan. The writing is that good. I played this for three months straight back in 2016 and got so addicted to it. It is a joy, a journey, and I don't want to give away a lot because I will be ruining the experience for you. Just know that this is a very deep and time-consuming adventure, so if you're not up to it, you're better off saving the money towards something else. Either be committed or not. Yes, I am that much protective of this game. Anyways, I suggest picking up the Game of the Year edition, which is currently 80% off and gives you extra DLC that makes your gameplay that much more complete. Buy it now. Now, this is a title that targets a specific audience. If you like very deep RPG games that do not try to make you like them, they do not try to make the experience an easy one for you, and that are looking for someone who's ready to engage in an unapologetic adventure of getting good, then Outward is probably gonna be a blast for you. The map is massive, you have so much to explore, and the level of threat never seems to become dull, and the need for progression will always call your name. Outward Word will make you think and be very strategic of any step that you try to take. Each mission can be tackled through several ways. Some will get you in trouble, others will be easier. What do I mean by that? Well, the game is very immersive and it tries to be as realistic as it can be. You need to pay attention to things like the weather, sleep, staying hydrated, studying the enemy's weaknesses and more. You can't just go crazy and try to slash your way into foes. I tried this game for a while and enjoyed it, but I got too impatient with it. But you you know me by now, I say things just the way they are. This is a hidden gem and again, it has a very specific audience that it tries to cater to. Unfortunately, I was not one of them but I know and I appreciate what it tries to do and that is why I'm recommending it for you if you want to try something new or if you do enjoy games that have no mercy. Also, you can try co-op so that might make it more fun and engaging. The game is 70% off and you can buy it for $11.99. If you didn't click off because of Witcher 3, you're probably gonna click off when I tell you the next title. 
it's Far Cry 5. This was not my first Far Cry, but it was the one that I finished and I adored. I know it falls more into the first person shooter, but it did bring some light RPG mechanics and that is probably why I enjoyed it so much. You are in Hope County, Montana. There is an extreme cult that is taking over and brainwashing people. The cult is run by the Seed siblings and you try to stand up against them and take them down one by one as you try to liberate America from the horrible things that the family is encouraging and doing to the people. I really enjoyed the fact that you can have companions which can either be human or animals, so you can even take a dog or a bear to guide you, and every companion has a unique style of fighting and it will support your playstyle. So if you're all about fast-paced guns blazing or more of a stealth hush-hush approach kind of person, whatever you choose, you'll have a companion suitable for that. You go ahead and liberate outposts, accept missions, you help friends. Really, the game was a fantastic ride. It did get a little bit repetitive at some point but that did not stop me from finishing it and then buying Far Cry New Dawn afterwards. It is 85% off and just for $8.99 you are on the fence of experiencing a very crazy yet engaging story. No Man's Sky. One of the biggest revolutionary games that started as a complete mess, even worse than Kingdom Come Deliverance, but then it redeemed itself and is still taking the internet by storm. What can I say about this? My heart races every time a new update is released and I know that the second I go back to it I will have to say goodbye to society for a while. I have 30 hours on PC already and I bought it again on PS5 because of the haptic feedback. It's an amazing adventure. You have absolute freedom with what you want to explore, gather, craft, build, get as a writable pet and pretty much be. You want to focus on manipulating the market? Then be a trader. You want to focus on having the best base ever? Can be a builder. Want to enjoy all the different procedurally generated planets, then be an explorer. The possibilities are endless and this makes No Man's Sky a massive journey. The developers are constantly working towards adding new features and each update has been bigger and more massive than the last one. For 50% off and at $29.99, this is an absolute must buy for any person who's like me. For anyone who is a fan of a combination of sandbox, crafting, RPG, just all in one, this is a must by. Here are two more videos that you can enjoy right now if you enjoyed this one. Also, do consider squishing the like and subscribe buttons so you can help support the channel. You could have been doing anything but you chose to spend your hard earned cash with me. That is really awesome. As always, remember to stay bubbly, stay positive, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!